Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to have this opportunity to introduce our research work here today. I'm the speaker for the presentation. I am Ke Ke Tang. Quan is my graduate student. We are also collaborating with Professor Beto and Professor Fellow. Our topic today is about um, lamellar structure uh, distribution around a macro defect in titanium alloys. Our research background originates from fatigue cracking problems in alloys. This is a very classic topic like the conference we have in today. To demonstrate the problems we are going to address today, I'm I will cite a few figures presented here. The first is the crank initiation from uh, nickel-based alloys. It originates from uh, inclusions. Also, we have uh, this uh, crack propagation path for different microstructures. The path varies for different microstructures, obviously. If we focus on dual phase alloys, it is found that alpha beta phase so called lamellar structure plays a very important role in predicting crack initiation. So, to quickly summarize, crack initiation are prone to emerge around inclusions. All micro defect in alloys. Also, it is um, affected by macrostructures. Crack initiation in dual phase alloys are influenced by micro defect morphology as well as macrostructure. Considering the machine uh, background, our research is mainly focused on dual phase alloys. Thus, we choose uh, these titanium alloys, a very typical dual phase titanium alloys. It aims to investigate the influence of uh, micro defect morphology. So, in the present work, we choose elliptical notch. Since we have to consider the microstructure influence, so crystal plasticity finite element method is employed in the present work. Last but not least, lamellar structure will be specially addressed. I will give a brief introduction of titanium alloys uh, modeling. Firstly, RVE models are generated randomly through Veroino algorithm in MATLAB software. The dimension of this model is uh, 200 uh, lengths of um, 200 microns times 200 microns. The average grain size is uh, 15 microns. Green numbers is 225. It is noteworthy that lamellar structure um, proportion takes up 34%. Clamped boundary condition is imposed at the bottom. Fatigue loading is uh, applied. Uh, in the up edge. Uh, the fatigue loading is depicted as the figure uh, we presented here. Maximum stress is uh, 800 megapascal, while stress threshold is zero. And in this work, uh, crystal plasticity constitutive um, equation is uh, used from uh, published literature, which has been proved to be very effective in CPFEM modeling uh, alloys. Um, parameters uh, adopted in the work are listed in the table. 
all cited from published literatures. In order to study the influence of lamellar structure distribution on titanium alloys, uh, three computational cases are designed. In figure A, a general global node model is presented. Uh, while for B, uh, group one, it is designed as a lamellar structure on the left side of the node. Uh, for group two, it is designed as a lamellar structure on the right side of the notch, while in group 3, no lamellar structure on both sides of the notch. Please keep in mind um, that for each group, two sets of uh, crystal orientation parameters are adopted, thus we could have six sets of uh, modern results. Extraction of string values around the notch is uh, the key for string accumulation. Therefore, the possible location of uh, uh, crack initiation can be predicted. Two extraction paths are adopted. One is the radial uh, path with the length of CD is 20 microns. The other is the circular path with the circumference of 44 Macrons. This string will be key elements for predicting crack initiation. Six plots of modeling results at global level of RVE model is presented here. Uh, let's firstly focus on green one cases. They resp respectively correspond to the lamellar. Um, structure on the left side, lamellar structure on the right side, and without a lamellar on both sides at all. It seems that global strings are very similar for the three groups. But if you take a, a closer look at the details of the neighboring area of notice, local string within screens are vastly different. We will show it later in enlarged view. Now we may switch to uh, green two. Change of uh, crystal parameters, uh, like a green orientation, dramatically change the global screen distribution. If we put a green one group and a green two group together, we can clearly see the difference. This conclusion are also verified in published uh, literatures. Um, I list the literature here, uh, published in 2019, IJ plus 50. Radio string along CD is uh, depicted in the presented figures for three cases of green wine, uh, lamella structure on the left side of the notch, on the right side of the notch, no lamella structure on both sides, from um, top to bottom. It is found a very jumpy string value for cases with uh, lamella structure. It is uh, very obvious for the red dotted curve. The lamellar structure appreciably changes string distribution. The formation of a continuous string is becoming less. Therefore, fatigue resistance and performance can be improved. For three cases of grain two, similar chain can be found. Circular string around the notch is extracted 
and um, depicted in the four presented figures. We also focus on three cases of green wine. For figure A, obviously, red dotted curve uh, corresponds to is the case with left lamellar structure distribution. Very much of the string oscillation is observed here. This oscillation can improve string loading bearing area, therefore uh, enhance the fatigue resistance performance of the dual phase alloys. It shall be pointed in figure B, a very sharp and jumpy uh, curves correspond to the no lamellar structure distribution. As a matter of fact, this issue um, comes from multiple reasons. One of the factors is the meshing depicted here, uh, right at the bottom, this picture. A very sharp corner of a lamellar structure distribution does exist on the right corner, which cannot be avoided in the current uh, computational process. This uh, irregular results arise. Now we have uh, come to the conclusion part. Uh, the following three conclusions are summarized. Uh, lamellar structure aggregates string concentration around notches. Um, also, lamellar structure appreciably changes string distribution, avoid the formation of a continuous string. In that sense, fatigue performance can be enhanced by tuning the lamellar structure distribution. Uh, for the future work, uh, our ongoing research uh, has um, been focused on uh, stainless steel with uh, multiple uh, geometric and micro defect morphology. Quantitative assessments of the morphology effects shall be incorporated in dual phase alloy uh, work. Thank you for your attention. Uh, all comments are welcome. Thank you.